like a man getting married. When he gets married, you live in a three-room house. You know that? Oh, you say, I beg your pardon. I got ten. No, you haven't. You only live in a three-room house. That's your, you may have three or four bedrooms and three or four pantries and things like that, but you actually live in a three-room house. That is the kitchen, the living room, and the bedroom. That's right. You live in a three-room house. God lived in a three-room house. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. You live in a three-room house. Soul, body, and spirit. Now you live in a house of a kitchen, a, a living room, and a bedroom. What is it the first thing when you talk to your little wife? That's the kitchen part, fellowshipping. Like the man who comes into the church, he sets back. He just has a little fellowship with one another when he comes in to listen to the word. Faith cometh by hearing. Then the next thing in the other room is the engagement room. Well, a lot of people think as long as they get into the kitchen, that's all they have to know. You're just feeding them. You're just getting fed. Then the next room is the engagement room where you make love to your wife in the parlor. But now wait. That's as far as some people go. But remember, into the next room is where not only fellowship, but relationship comes. And that's what's the matter with the church today. They got a shame face if you can catch them a parable. They don't want that relationship with God. They'd rather have some stole, cold, formal, starchy organization say, I'm Presbyterian, I'm Methodist, I'm Baptist, I'm Pentecostal, than to really come down to that relationship with God to go out and bear four children and cry out, my Father. They're ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it's the power of God and the salvation to them that believe. We'll never educate them in. We'll never denominate them in. We'll never scientifically take them in. They've got to be born in. That's right. When a baby's born, these three elements come the, for the baby's life. What's the first thing? Excuse me, sisters. What's the first thing come? Water. If it isn't dry birth, the baby's not normal. Second thing, blood. Is that right? What's the next thing? Life. What come from Jesus? Water, blood, and life. Spiritually decide what constitutes the, the natural birth, constitutes the spiritual birth. If a baby's born and he's still born, he doesn't cry, there's no emotion to him, what's the matter with him? He's a dead born baby. That's what's the matter with the churches today. What's the matter with our Pentecostals? We're bringing forth too many dead-born babies. Exactly right.